Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to another beautiful day. First of all, I want to thank all of y'all for supporting the channel, subscribing, commenting, liking, all that fun stuff that y'all do. If y'all ever need to support the channel, support the channel, go to bootyhustlers.com. You know where to buy some stuff. We got sizes from small to 4X, sometimes 5X, because we care about the plus size lovers out there. You feel me? We never want to exclude. We only want to include. With that being said, you know it's Wednesday, so you know what the time it is. It's Rant Wednesday, so let's kick these things off, right? I was writing down a certain type of list that I do this. Usually, this is how this works. I write down some topics. I yell about them just from the straight from the dome. That's how it works if you're new here, and if you ain't new here, hey! Thank you for the support. Welcome back. With that being said, it brings me to my deepest regret to misinform or inform somebody that they have been removed from the National Negro List. Yes, Mr. Tyrone Woodley, you, sir, have been removed from the upper echelons of Negrodom. You can no longer come to the barbecues. You can no longer bake potato salad. I better not catch your ass lacking at the fucking Waffle House. I better not see you anywhere else outside of a goddamn BevMo. That's the only place you are allowed to be at at these current times, sir. Not one. Once, but twice you lost to that Jake Paul guy. Congratulations, Jake Paul. You locked that motherfucker out cold. He looked like a dead bag of sand laying on the ground. That man needed some milk. That man needed some almond milk. Damn, that man needed fucking life alert because he falling and he can't get up. That boy knocked the soul out of you, my man. I thought that was sweat coming off your body. No, it was your spirit to go see all those people in the Juice World concert up in heaven. God rest your soul, Mr. Tyrone Willie. I don't know how you gonna bounce back from this. I don't know what you gonna do to make this right. Matter of fact, you can't make it right. My boy Eddie's always say, you can lose 99 times, but you gotta at least come back once. Boy, he knocked all 99 rings out of you. Ain't no one ring in you no more. Sir, whatever you thought you were doing, we're going to have to make a racial draft for you. We gonna have to, Whoever has a suggestion who we should trade for Tyrone Woodley, boy, just let me know in the comments below. Sir, I don't know what kind of fighting you was doing, what kind of martial arts you was doing before this. I knew you was a mixed martial arts master, and I seen you try to do some shit before. The last time when all the rounds, we was like, just knock him out, just knock him out, just knock him out. You was bobbing and weaving, bobbing and weaving. No bobbing, no weaving. Just straight haymaker to the face that right hit you. Man, it was like seeing goddamn the goddamn Debo versus freaking Red. You want some of this old man? No. He knocked you out so cold. I thought you was going to have a holiday sale on Christmas hams next to the honey bake with your face on it. Talking about Tyrone Willie steaks. Cover your eye. Maybe not get a sty. But sir, are you okay emotionally? Are you okay physically? Are you okay mentally? Because after that ass whooping you received that Saturday night, I hope you never, ever ever get into a ring again i hope you recover from whatever kind of discretionary discretionaries you have going on it's time to move on to the next topic i don't know who decided to take jobs from america and export them to other countries all you cable companies security companies phone companies, goddamn customer service companies. Why is it every time I call a fucking customer service, I can't hit zero, I gotta yell to the fucking phone, speak to customer service, speak to customer service. Then when I get to customer service, it's my boy, Mad. He's back on the phone again. I said, Mad, what happened? He said, bro, you got me fired from the gas station. Now I'm working at a customer service line. Bro, how? Where the fuck are you finding these people? I literally called. This is a true story. You can take me out if you want to. I called Vivid Home Security. I told them my security system is down. It's a motherfucker on the phone with the thickest accent I ever heard on some Scrooge McDuck villain type shit from DuckTales. The motherfucker's talking about, bro, your security shit is system is down. I said, bro, my system is down can you reboot it in the background i kid you not god is my witness i put this on all of my skylines mr kooky bear and my motherfucking galvatron there was a chicken chicken in the background a rooster whatever kind of fucking farm animals you got in the background vivid home security that is unacceptable that is the last fucking time i'm gonna have to deal with hitting zero and then go straight to some motherfucking in bangladesh syria goddamn pakistan off of stand, pack me out again. I don't care what fucking country. Just bring the job call centers back to America, bro. I'm tired of it. No disrespect to all those people with those accents. Bro, you know how hard it is to talk to a motherfucker when they don't understand what you saying. And it's like, Sonny, bro, let me just talk. Bro, let me just talk to somebody normal. 
I don't need nobody else. I don't need no extracurricular shit. It just be so hard. I don't know what the fuck happened. I remember back in the day when I used to call 1-900 some numbers, 1-900 some numbers for Sony, and I'd be like, yo, let me get the cheat codes to Twisted Metal 2, and they put me a normal motherfucker on the phone, and they gave me the codes to get Sweet Tooth for Minion, the fucking infinite health, motherfucking ice code, but no, now I gotta talk to some random dude in some random country, bro, get the fucking shit out your mouth, it's not hard, you sound like the gobbledygook monsters off the fucking Nasonex commercials, that's how I imagine all you motherfuckers be looking like, yeah, 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 we about to fuck up his day, and then you get mad at me when I tell you I reset the system, bro, I called you 15 times. And I already reset it to shit. Why is it that I got to reset it again, bro? It's not that simple and it's not that hard, but you guys make it even harder than it needs to be. To put me on the phone with a motherfucker that speak normal motherfucking number fuckings. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to y'all. I'm not trying to be on some super high level shit. Y'all all have gone through this when your mom be like, hey, Billy, call Dish Network because the cable's down. Then you call Dish Network, you're talking to be 20, 24 7 customer service. Then you pick up and they be like, hello, this is Roger. Bro, I know goddamn well you're name ain't no goddamn Roger. Give me your real name and not your stripper name because I'm tired of hearing you on the phone every fucking time. All I need is a normal motherfucker to talk to on the phone. Is it that hard? Just talk to me normal. Like, yo, bro, how's it going? I'm like, how's it going? Good. What time is it where you at? It's the time. What's the weather like? It is the weather. Bro, you know it's 30,000 degrees where you at in the middle of fucking Bin Laden's cave, bro. Just c cut the shit. Cut the fucking shit, bro. I don't need to hear any of that. And all you fucking flugazy ass, watered down, hoe ass, bitch face, dick in the booty ass, fucking KY jelly having ass, fucking 36 mafia, nine nine to the double zero ass, people on offer up. This is for you. This is a true fucking story. Shit I cannot make up. I want to offer up the other day. They had some Ricaro confetti seats, and I was like, yo, I want these Ricaro confetti seats. Hit the dude up. He was like, $1,000 on his post and on his list. Said $1,000, like, yo, are these seats still available? He's, it went from $4,000 to $1,000. I'm like, bet, I'm about to hop on it. He's like, no, bro, the, seat, the list is this $4,000. Why did you change the price to $1,000? Why when I offer, when I go and offer up and I buy shit, you guys jack up the price? I went to go buy a bumper the other week, an R34 bumper. The dude was like, this is the price, everything in the picture included, boom. You know what I get there and what happens? He's like, bro, three, 300 for the bumper, cool. Where's the fucking grill? Where's the fucking lights? Lights and grill aren't included. Bro, what the fuck you mean the lights and grill aren't included? You put it in the motherfucking picture. He's like, yeah, you're going to have to pay 150 extra. I said, bro, I'm giving you $50 extra. You could kick rocks. I got my bumper and I got my lights. <sighs> And all you people out there, I say you people in a sense of general internet consistence, don't hit me up talking about is this motherfucker still available, and then when I tell you it's still available, then you ghost me. And then you come back four weeks later talking about is this still available, and I'll be like low-key yes to see if it's still available. All right, cool, can I send a picture of it, bro? The picture is in the motherfucking ad. Now, I'm a low key just starting sending y'all meat pictures because if y'all keep playing around with me, I'm gonna just let you see the meat treat one time for the one time. And if you keep playing really, really, I'm gonna find your fucking IP address, come to your house and be like, yo, bro, now you gotta buy this. Now we got a silver suit. When you say you were supposed to buy it when you weren't, bro, it's just simple. Stop scamming me on these ads. Stop using these sus ass pictures and shit. Bro, it's, 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 I swear you guys make it harder than the Emancipation Proclamation. It was easier freeing the slaves than buying something from OfferUp. I don't know if it's let go, OfferUp, or whatever combination of bullshit y'all got going on, but that's how it is. It really be like, Lincoln was sitting there like, yeah, free the slaves. What's OfferUp? I don't know, but that shit about to be mighty hard. Stop making it so fucking hard. It's that. Just stop making it hard. All you fugazi, and then in the description, if you hit me up for something, read what I'm selling. Don't ask me what the fuck am I selling. Yo, bro, I saw you had an R34 bumper for sale. What are you selling? I swear I got two right. I wish I wish this was like 1999 where you could just pack somebody out for GP and the cops show up and like, why'd you hit him? Well, he asked dumb questions and the cops were like, justified answer. You shouldn't have fucked around. He got a bottle. He got a fucking case of fuck around and find out. Oh, I'm not even a violent person, but y'all be, <clears throat> I got to go. The doctor said my blood pressure high. If I keep yelling like this, I'm going to get a fucking pop a blood vessel. Get me all worked up and shit. And it's fucking 37 degrees in this office right now. Why is it so cold? Who, I got to go. I'm hungry. I'm fat. Booty Hustlers Weight Loss Challenge are coming soon. Every pound you lose, you get a hug from me. So if you weigh like 500 pounds, you're about to get two hugs.
Peace out. Happy Christmas. Tell your mama I love her. Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Jewish New Year, Chinese New Year, Armenian New Year. Fucking, I'm out. I log bar. Just been pimp tight, I'm saying, pimp tight, I'm saying, see what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. Me and T know that when you was in the honey wagon, no, sorry, can I just take that again? Yeah.